Today, we're doing your taste buds dirty with a crispy buffalo chicken burrito that is guaranteed to make you moan. Let's go. Uh -huh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today I am slapping the taste buds out your damn mouth because we are going to experience one of the seven wonders of the cooking world and that is a crispy buffalo chicken burrito that is guaranteed to make your taste buds one two step in your mouth i'm serious this thing is incredible we got all kinds of flavor the perfect amount of texture in there it's going to be done perfect before we jump into that though please scroll down hit that like button hit that subscribe button drop a comment below and let me know how old were you when you first got your heart broken we were just talking about this the other day me and my friends, I wanna know how old you were. Some of them were like 12 and some were 22. It's crazy, but let me know below. But seriously though, we're about to get into this incredible crispy buffalo chicken burrito. Let's waste no more time, B-roll. All right, before you panic at all these ingredients, let me just get this out of the way real quick. I'm making buffalo sauce from scratch, and that's gonna require Frank's Red Hot Sauce, what the f sauce, butter, and white distilled vinegar. Okay, you could substitute those for buffalo sauce, but you'll also need some large flour tortillas, chicken thighs, basmati rice, iceberg lettuce, Roma tomato, chives, pickled onions. I have an incredibly easy and successful recipe you can check out right up here. Pickled jalapeno, cheddar cheese, optional blue cheese crumbles, ranch seasoning. Yeah. Yes, we are getting saucy today. Ranch, listen, my recipe is way better, but I didn't have time to make it last night, so we're just gonna use some Hidden Valley. Garlic powder, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, buttermilk, and flour. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with this prep work is we are going to make the bath for our chicken to soak in. And this one's gonna be special. We're gonna start with two cups of buttermilk, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of some ranch powder, one teaspoon of some cayenne pepper and about 30 cranks of some black cracked pepper. And now we whisk. All right, we got our chicken bath ready. We'll cut the chicken up in a second. Let's go ahead and take care of the flour portion right now. Okay, so for the flour portion, we are going to do exactly what we just did, except instead of two cups of buttermilk, we're going to do two cups of some flour right in there. Next, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of ranch powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and about 35 cranks of black pepper. And now we whisk. All right, so we got our flour and our dreads out of the way. Next, it's time to do our chicken thighs. Now, I was gonna do little chicken nuggets, but Jacqueline said, since it's in a burrito, I should do chicken strips. So we're just gonna trim fat off these thighs and do some chicken strips, just like this. All right, I probably will not use all of this. This is a lot of chicken, but I didn't want it to go to waste, so we'll fry it up for everyone around the house. Anyway, we're gonna take our strips and then we're just gonna go ahead and pop them into our batter Just like that and then we're just gonna make sure that they go for a swim and get nice and mixed up in there All right, so here's the deal You can marinate this for 15 minutes or you can marinate it overnight in the fridge I don't want this to get super cold because I'm gonna be frying it here in about 30 minutes So I'm actually just gonna let this marinate on the counter and then we're gonna throw it right into the fryer Next I'm making two cups of rice because we're gonna turn this into buffalo ranch rice. I know sounds fire all right, so I got my rice maker bowl. I'm gonna pour that in there. Let's go ahead and wash this. Okay, so if you don't know that you need to wash your rice, you do need to wash your rice, because check this out. You see all that? That starch, that's gonna make your rice stick together and it's gonna get nasty and mushy. So all you do is just get some water in there and you just rub your hands together like this with the rice in between. And we're just gonna repeat that about three or four times until the water runs clear. All right, so as you can see, the water is pretty clear, and now all we're gonna do is throw it into our sushi maker and click go. All right, at this point, all we gotta do is prep some veggies out. So, the most holy vegetable of all, let us pray, right? Okay, we're gonna cut this in half, just like that. And then we're just gonna very thinly just shave this. We're just gonna shave this just like this. And then we're gonna get these beautiful little spirally stackable. All right, so then we take this lettuce just like this, and then we have a special guest that I gotta show you right now. Why don't you turn those cameras around? Look who just walked in the door! Lou, special delivery! Back here, I'm just saying, I don't even know what he's making, but we finna taste it. 
Whoa, hey, yo. All right, next we got a Roma tomato, real easy. We're just gonna slice the top off, cut this in half, do some thin slices, some opposing slices. We're gonna cube it, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, and the last thing we gotta prep is our chives. And no, these aren't really gonna add that much flavor, but what they are gonna do is make this look really good when I cut the burrito in half. So we're just gonna thin slice these, scoop them up into a bowl. All right, so here we are over at the stove, and this is what our setup is gonna look like. All right, so I got my rice cooking over here. Next to that, I've got all the ingredients from my homemade buffalo sauce. Next to that, in the pan, you can see our butter slowly melting. Next to that, I've got my fryer with my chicken and my marinade and my flour. And next to that, I've got a baking sheet with a wire rack. That way I can throw that fried chicken on there. All right, so our butter is melted. We've got it on a very low heat. And to one stick of unsalted butter, I'm gonna go in with half a cup of some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Just gonna make sure we get it all in there. On top of that, we're gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of white distilled vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of some garlic powder, and just a couple dashes of some what the f sauce. Now with this on a low heat, we're just gonna go ahead and mix this until it becomes fully combined and emulsified. We do not want this to bubble. Okay, I'm not kidding, that took about 30 seconds. Check it out, that is the perfect buffalo sauce. Let's go ahead and do a little taste test. Literally perfect buffalo. So we're gonna cut the heat off. This is gonna kind of solidify a little bit, but when we're ready to use it, we just keep it on a low heat and mix again, just like we did. Now we're gonna come over here to our fryer. We got a couple minutes left on our rice. So let's go ahead and get to frying. We're gonna take our chicken. We're gonna do these strips. We're gonna let all that excess drip off there, just like that. We'll throw one in there and three. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toss these around in our flour. These are gonna get nice and coated. Try to use one hand for wet, one hand for dry. Go ahead and push that in just like that. Just like this, we're gonna go ahead and shake. Throw that guy into our basket. So that's one, two, three. And now I'm just gonna repeat until my basket's full. All right, now we're gonna drop our strips for about three minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at those crispy fried mother in chicken strips. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. In an effort to preserve spillage, I got my chicken strips, I'm popping them onto my wire rack, and then I'm gonna rinse and repeat, and I'm gonna make about one more batch, and then we'll be ready to go ahead and sauce our rice up and put this burrito together, so let me rock. All right, so the rice is done. Let's check this out real quick. Look at how perfect that rice. Each grain is individual in this. Now, I've been mixing it around and pushing it all together, but like, I'm gonna sauce this up in just a second. Let me get back to frying this chicken. All right, so I've never done this before, but on paper, it looks good. So I'm gonna take about a burrito's worth of rice. That's about a burrito's worth of rice right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna sauce this up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of ranch, and I wanna take a little bit of this buffalo sauce right here. I just wanna drizzle some buffalo sauce into that rice, then we're gonna mix it up. Okay, so what I wanted to do is get the rice in there so it's nice and filling, but we gotta sauce it up with some flavor. So let me do a taste test. It's perfect. Okay, so check me out. You can add as little or as much as you want in there. Um, at this point, we've got a ton of fried chicken. I got plenty of it. So now all we have to do is heat up our burrito. Give me one second. All I'm gonna do is throw it on here and I'm just gonna go ahead and warm this through. I've got my burner on a medium high heat. We're just gonna warm this up so it becomes nice and stretchy. All right, our tortilla's warm, our chicken's cooked, our rice is ready. We got our buffalo sauce. All we gotta do is toss some of our chicken in it and put this burrito together, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna waste any time. We got a taste tester, let's go. Lou, come in here. Boom, boom, boom. That's cute and all, but grab your side because I'm right. too excited to eat this. Crispy Thank buffalo you. chicken burrito. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh my God. You know what's an underrated ingredient in here that's making it happen for me? The pickled onions. Those pickled onions are so damn good. Yeah. I told you, if you guys know how to make pickled onions, the rice is really good. It's like it's like a, a spicy rice because of the buffalo, but it's also creamy because of the ranch. You feel me? Hi, girl. Hi. Jada's Remember in the seasoning. 
Subscribe to more seasoning, appreciate it. You killed it with that chicken. You could eat that chicken mm. any form. The ranch powder in the crispy flour in the buttermilk definitely makes a difference. I can taste it and it is incredible. U-N-H-H-H-H-H. That's what this burrito is. Oh, oh, oh. I'm telling <laughs> well, The pickle onion just, mm, mm, mm. So I don't even know what that is. I second that. I don't know what that is either, but I second that. So Lewis, real quick, on a star scale, one through five, what are you giving our crispy buffalo chicken burrito? I'm gonna be honest, 4.5. Okay. 0.5 off because of the calories. But we don't care about that. So it's a five out of five for oh. me. Oh! Listen, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to this crispy buffalo chicken burrito, that's a five out of five star. And normally I kick them off the show, but Lewis, you stay right here. We're gonna sign this thing out. I don't wanna take any longer because I wanna make more. Hey, if you made it this far, scroll down, hit that like and that subscribe button, drop a comment below. What age were you? when you had your first heartbreak? That's what I wanna know in the comments. My name is Farnham, this is my boy Lou, and this is a crispy buffalo chicken burrito that will make you go, oh, oh, oh. we out, let's go. <laughs>